Good morning. This is your daily affirmation guide. Today is a new day, and we're going to wake up strong. Any worries that I may have shall pass, as they did yesterday, the day before, and every day. If I begin to lose focus, I'll acknowledge what's worrying me. If I can resolve it, I will. And if I can't, I'll let it go, roll up my anxieties into a tiny ball, and just throw them away. And as we do every morning, let's have a moment of silence where we acknowledge our inner journey. And a deep breath in, and quiet. moved in um do you need any help uh no i think i'm all right are you though what was that uh i said good luck oh thanks okay of any negative thoughts and start the day fresh and free of any fear or worries or anxieties. I am whole and I can conquer today. And we are going to take our final deep breath in and hold and release. Good morning, Kyle. Good morning, Taylor. So, what's the flavor of the day, birthday girl? Mm. A little sage, a little patchouli. Lavender. Ooh, that would go great with a little lemon coffee cake. Oh. Happy birthday. Thank you. And samples for the Pattersons, Ooh. which I'm guessing you will like better. Yes, these are first on my to-do list. So, what's the plans for the big day? Nothing big, just gonna go see my dad. What, seriously? No, 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 no. You're coming out with me and my friends tonight. We're gonna go grab some Thai, maybe a little karaoke. Ooh, I could use a duet partner. Uh, yeah, thank you, but um, Patterson's want their home reorganized by the end of the month, and that means all new built-ins in the closets and new modules in the den, and it's a disaster, so. Well, hey, if you're swamped, I could easily take over the Tillman job. Oh, I'm already on that one. Oh, well, how about I put some samples together for the Swartz's walk-ins? You know what, I'm so in the zone there, so I think I'll just keep going. You know how I get with new clients. I just like to, you know. <sighs> Maybe I'm stepping out of bounds here, but maybe you should think about taking a holiday. You know, celebrating the big 3-0 in style. I mean, I haven't seen you take a day off since you hired me. Remember? For my excellent design skills. And of course, charm. But that's not the point. The point is, have you thought about taking a day off? No. But thank you so much for the invite. Sorry I can't make it. And for the cake. Off to celebrate with my dad. Uh, <laughs> all right. Happy birthday. Thank you. Ooh, a new match. Tried to have it ready for your birthday, but you cannot rush art. I know. I love it already. Good. Well, it's not the only present you're getting. Oh, Dad, you don't have to get me anything else. It's not from me. What? Open it. Okay. This looks like a 
map, maybe of this property? Is it a landscaping plan? No, they couldn't be because there's arrows. Why would there be arrows on a landscaping plan? Questions, questions, so many questions. Just follow the map and let the adventure begin. Come on. Down here. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> This. Over to the dragonfly? I don't get it. Look a little closer. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh. <laughs> what do you do on your 30th birthday? Dug up my dad's backyard. Here we go. Oh. What's that? Is this like a time capsule? It looks very much like it is, yes. Hey. Let me, uh... Thanks. Got it. Is this for Mom? She wanted you to unearth it on your 30th birthday. That's my birth certificate. <laughs> the first tooth I ever lost. <sighs> oh my God, this was my first oral presentation. Do you remember how nervous I was? I had to get up in front of the whole class. I do. <laughs> Mom really coached me through that. What's this? Read the note. Dear Taylor, I know I won't be with you on this special day. <sighs> so I put together this time capsule of items from your childhood, as well as a series of challenges in these envelopes. Complete all six of them, and my birthday gift to you should be revealed. Love, Mom. Should I open challenge number one? <laughs> I think so. Get to know someone new. <laughs> Ugh, mom, still being mom. <laughs> well, she was the one who got you through all of your anxieties. Yeah, but not really that little anxious girl anymore, Dad. I mean, I run my own business. I, I live by myself. I, I can take care of myself. I, 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 I hear a lot of eyes there. Maybe your mom wasn't so far off the mark when she wanted you to get out and. And meet someone new. A friend. I have friends. I do have friends. I have Kyle I at the office. He's my friend. He invited me out tonight, so... Oh, and are you going to? I'm not going to go, but that's only because I have a lot of work. Nothing to do with getting outside your safety zone or your comfort bubble? I go out of my safety zone all the time. Dad, I go to, like, clients' houses and talk to people. This is not a big deal. Then why are you rubbing your worry angel? I'm not worried. I'm not. I'm, you know what? This isn't even a challenge. No? No. Okay. I'm glad you think so, because your mother, if you read the fine print, has asked you to provide photographic evidence of every challenge completed. Well, that's <laughs> just fake. <laughs> Come on. Let's go inside and get some cake. Good morning. This is your daily affirmation guide. As your morning begins, remember to tackle today's horizons, our challenges, with ease and inner wisdom, knowing that you can do this.
Virgin Americana with oat milk for Taylor. That's me. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Excuse me? I just, I come here every day and you know my name. What's yours? It's Jenny. Jenny. So nice to get to know you, Jenny. Likewise. Hmm. Dad, I did it. I met somebody new. I even got her name, and it's Jenny. Well, yeah, I'd assume you would get their name. What does this Jenny do? Oh, she works at my coffee shop. A coffee shop. OK. Oh, Dad, I'm going to text you the picture later, OK? I got to run. I love you. Love you, too. Hi. Uh, I I'm Josh, your new neighbor, the one whose life was scattered everywhere the other day. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, I'm Taylor. It's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry about the mess in the driveway. It's fine. It wasn't a bother. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, except for I'm going to bother you now because I can't seem to find my can opener, which isn't surprising if you saw the bomb that went off in my house. <laughs> I have one. I can lend it to you. Come on in. Great. Wow. It's a nice place. And it's very organized. Yeah, I like to keep it that way. I, um, uh, it's kind of what I do, uh, cleaning, organizing stuff. <laughs> there you go. Oh, great. Now my daughter can be fed something other than pizza, which has been our staple for the last few days. I have takeout menus that I threw out. This is going to be great. And I promise to pop it in your mailbox as soon as I'm done. No rush. I, uh, I have all my meals prepped for the week, so. Wow, you are organized. Unlike myself, who can't even label a packing box, because unlike the can opener, I did find the salt and pepper shakers in the box labeled bedroom. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with my stories any longer. And uh, this is great, so thank you. And uh, it was nice to officially meet you. Yes. So it was nice to meet you, officially. Um, welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. I uh, think I like it already. <laughs> you know, I think this might be my new favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. So tell me more about this uh, Jenny Barista. Oh, forget about Jenny. I want to tell you about Josh, my new neighbor. Oh. He came over the other day to borrow a can opener. And I think I just knocked that challenge right out of the park. So he came to you for a can opener? Yeah, that's right. I see. And um, during this exchange, what did you learn about Josh? That he has a daughter and that he's pretty disorganized. OK. What? Can opener, disorganized. I mean, I mean, I, I think your mom wanted you to really get to know someone, work out a little bit, spend some time with them. Otherwise, it's not really a challenge, is it? Fine. I'll work on it. For mom. And a girl. Hello. Thought I'd just drop by and say welcome to the neighborhood. I already said that. Um, hello. Thought I'd just whip this up. It's something other than pizza. Oof, it's too Betty Crocker. Um. Hey. Hi. Uh, it's, uh, it's food. Oh, thank you. This is very kind of you. Oh, and I'm sorry, I meant to bring your can opener over, but I got a little distracted trying to sort my life out in all these boxes. It's okay, because I got you this. That is very neighborly of you. <laughs> uh, did you have a minute? Uh, I just put the kettle on. Uh, yeah, sure, that'd be lovely. Great. Come on in. Uh, so, uh, chamomile, uh, peppermint tea, or maybe just black tea? Uh, peppermint would be lovely. Great. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a disaster. Uh, but with Chloe's school and my teaching and, and coaching and constant furniture deliveries, I haven't really had time to sort through it. You know, if you need help, I know of a service who will unpack all of this for you. Really? 
Would they be able to help me organize it as well? Mm, no, but I know of another service that can do that. Me. You? Yeah. It's my company, uh, Space to Live. I help people organize their homes so they can live in them stress and worry free. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll have to employ your services one day. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm Chloe. This is a beautiful house. Look at those wood floors and the bay window. You know, with all that natural light coming through, a chair might be nice there. I never thought about the light, but, uh, well, you'd be the expert. <laughs> what do you think about the piano? Piano? Okay, well, I know that we do not have a piano, so... <laughs> oh, I see you found our project. I used to have a dollhouse, too. My dad made it for me. He's so good at creating things. <laughs> uh, this is my daughter, Chloe. Chloe, this is our new neighbor, Taylor. And she was kind enough to bring us a casserole. I hope it's not tuna. Chloe? No, that's fine. It's not. It's chicken. <laughs> But if you don't like that, that's fine, too. There are so many things I didn't like when I was your age, like tomatoes. I like tomato sauce. Mm. Ooh, good, because it's in the casserole. Are you staying to have it with us? No, no, no. Wasn't planning on that. Why not? Uh, clearly, we would enjoy the company. Unless you have your family or someone to... Um, no, no, I, it's just me over there, but it's, um... It's Wednesday, which means it's laundry day, so... I mean, okay, I guess I could stay. <laughs> I'll set you up a spot. <laughs> oh, uh, the cutlery's in the box labeled kitchen. Uh, casserole 350? Yeah. Dad, are you sure this is a kitchen box? <laughs> uh, maybe we'll find the utensils in the Christmas box. What time did the jack-o'-lantern go to the dentist? <laughs> Too pretty. Oh! one. <laughs> uh, well, that was delicious. Great. Yeah, I have to go finish my homework, but will we see you again? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. And if you want, I could get you some paper and paint samples from one of my jobs for your dollhouse. Yes, please. Cool. It was so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. <laughs> see you later, then. Bye. She is so lovely. She's pretty special. Although, since her mom died a year ago, she's been a bit withdrawn and been anxious. You know, I, I thought that being a phys ed teacher at the college would have helped, you know, dealing with the athletes and all their stress, but it's been a bit of a challenge. M my mom had similar challenges with me. I get it. Well, now that you know all about us, what about you? You know, aside from being an expert organizer. Well, they're really isn't much else to tell you. Like I said, it was just me over there, so. Well, we're glad you're over there. I'm glad you feel that way. And likewise, it's been really nice to get to know you and Chloe. Yes, speaking of which, uh, it is school night and I probably should help her get to bed. Totally, and I'm normally prepping for work by now, so. Scheduled and organized, I just... really should hire you. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> right across the street? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me ask her. The college wants to know what date you plan on going in to organize the library. This Saturday at 10 a.m. Saturday at 10. Great. Thank you. Oh, no, no. Actually, leave those. I'm going to give them to my neighbor. Or his daughter. We met the other day. Had dinner together. Got to know one another. Sounds very Pleasantville. He's a single dad. Widower. Kind of disorganized. Actually, no, he's a total mess. <laughs> so, is he a possible new client, or...? Uh, no, I don't... I mean, maybe, I don't know. I guess he could... I don't know. He's a new neighbor. New friend. Mm-hmm. And is this new friend dating? I don't know that. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? Well, let's creep his social media. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, got a new match. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Christy. It's gonna send you a wave and a smiley emoji. 
<laughs> uh, what's his name? Um, Josh. Oh, oh. Is that her already? No, 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 no. This is Jade. Let me respond back to Veronica quickly. MG, are you dating all of these women? No, no, not dating. Just, you know, messaging. So you've never met them? Whoa, slow down, Taylor. Pump your brakes. I gotta get to know them first. Fill them out. You know, decode the emojis before I commit to like a whole date. <laughs> How do you get to know them, though, if you never meet them? I'm on all the dating apps. I know exactly how this works, okay? <laughs> She's so funny. Do something that you're afraid of. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <sighs> okay, my friend. You will be my next challenge. Chloe, have you seen a little black box? Like, like, like a jewelry box? <laughs> hey, are you, are you okay? What? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm great. I'm so good. <laughs> okay, uh, it just seems like you've forgotten your, your shoes. Yeah. Ugh. Do you need help? Maybe. It's a big spider. Like it's. Uh, I think it ate all my food in, in in all the house. It's okay. And it. Uh, well, it's very unpredictable. You know, spiders are like having your own form of pest control. They eat all sorts of bugs that could become pests. <laughs> well, pretty sure that guy ate all the bugs on the block. <laughs> um, thank you so much for saving the day. And I'm really sorry that I had to bother you with that. Oh, you owe me a few bothers. Besides, <laughs> it's not really a big deal uh, for me. I get it that not everyone's into spiders. Nope. You know, in fact, Chloe once saw one in her room, and she ended up sleeping in a tent in the living room for a week. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. <laughs> uh, I have her samples. Oh. Come. How is she? Uh, not bad. Until she was assigned an oral presentation, and now the wheels have come off a little bit. I get it. I did not like oral presentations in school. In fact, my first oral presentation was such a big deal that my mom put it in a time capsule for me. Wow. Time capsule? <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> My mom was pretty cool. If you want, I could maybe help her with her anxiety about the presentation, seeing as I have um, had, used to have the same issues. Oh, well, she won't talk to me or anyone about it, so I, I mean, if you wouldn't mind. No, I would really wouldn't mind. Um, I have a job at the college on Saturday, but after that, I'm free. Oh, I'm actually at the college on Saturday for training camps, and, and usually I drag Chloe along with me, so. I could keep her busy. I would be. That would be great. Um, I should go, but I'll see you Saturday. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks again. Smart. How's your day? Yeah, good. Nice throw. Yeah. Hi. Taylor, what are you doing here? I am here because I thought I would give you a little bit of help on your presentation for school if you want. Sure. Have you picked a topic yet? No. Well, my mom always told me that if you're going to give a presentation on something, it's best to pick a topic that you really love. So, um, like, what's your favorite animal? I love elephants. Really? Why? Well, they're really gentle, even though they're the largest land animal. 
And they're so big, they have to eat up to 16 hours a day. They do? Wouldn't that be something? And they can live up to 70 years. Can they swim? Yeah, and they use their trunks like snorkels. Cute. Can they fly like Dumbo? No, they can't even jump. <laughs> but they have really good memories. You know, you just told me a lot about elephants. In fact, you kind of just gave me a presentation. So why don't we try something? Um, Josh? Yeah. Okay, so your dad and I are gonna pretend to be kids in your class. So who would I be? Definitely Mia. She's my best friend. Yes. And dad, you can be Liam. He's always messy. Oh, perfect. Hey. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna practice giving us a pre I mean, me, Mia and Liam, a presentation on elephants. Cool? Okay, okay. Hello, Liam. Hello, you are? What? <clears throat> it's just kids doing this class, right? <laughs> okay, fine. Go ahead. <clears throat> Elephants are the biggest living land animal on Earth. So, what are we doing here? We are getting some lavender oil. It'll help Chloe relax whenever she's feeling a bit anxious. I think it's right here. No, oh, so you've been here before. Yeah, this was my first contract. I organized the space to make it feel more calm and serene. Hmm, I should take a cue from that and become more calm and organized for Chloe. It would help, but I get it. My dad's a little like you, so. Scattered? Uh, he's an artist. Uh, the RJ Gallery, that's his. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> my mom was the one who kept the calm and order. Well, you definitely have your mother's touch. I mean, look what you did today with Chloe. I wish I could do that. But I kind of felt out of my league ever since Claire passed, and, well, that scares me. You know what? Almost everything scares me. You know that time capsule that my mom gave me? It was filled with challenges, and challenge number two was that I just had to deal with that tiny spider, and you saw how I did with that, so... I think you're doing pretty great. Thanks. Yeah. And for... Times when you're not feeling so great, smell. Hmm. Uh, not overly offensive. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I think I could probably help you with that challenge, because I'm the kind of guy who just dives right in and thanks later. Oh, I know, you don't have to do that. Oh, come on, I, I owe you one, you know, for what you did with Chloe. So, what scares you other than spiders? Uh, how about anything unfamiliar? Uh, hectic places, social events, um, amusement parks, amusement park rides. Black Friday, you could not pay me enough money to go on a cruise ship. Do you want me to keep going? I don't like no, that. No, 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 no. Uh, how about we throw out your day timer? What? Okay, uh, that's too, too strong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, rides. Uh-huh. Fair is closed. Oh, uh, what about heights? Scared of those? Definitely, most definitely afraid of heights, yep. I don't know the exact place we could just knock that challenge right out of the park. You, me, you in? Yes. Great. Yeah. I was just gonna get one for Chloe, but I think I need one for myself too. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Pick a topic I love, then practice, be prepared to know the room. That's it. You got this. Yeah. <clears throat> did you just? I did. I'm so sorry. I should have asked first. I, um, it, it's for this challenge that my mom has me doing and she wants me to take photo proof of everything, oh. so. So you're saying I'm a challenge? I <laughs> kind of. Um, I had to meet somebody new, and um, here you are. Well, I at least get my good side. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> okay, one, one more, baby. Hello? Sarah! Hi, sweetheart! Oh, wow, what's this? It's a gift Taylor got me, and I'm working on my oral presentation. Sarah, this is Taylor, our new neighbor. Pleasure to meet you. And you. Taylor was kind enough to bring us over dinner a couple of nights ago. 
Oh, well, thank you, because I've been out of town and I'm well aware this one can't cook. <laughs> hey, I can cook, right? As long as it comes from a can and needs reheating. And I have a can opener, of course. <laughs> right. Well, I was just heading out, so really nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. So, next weekend, we conquer? Absolutely. How's the project okay. going along? Pretty good. Bye. Sounds like you and Chloe are having fun up there. Yeah, always. <laughs> but I don't just come here to spend time with Chloe. Yeah, I, I know. So your new neighbor seems nice, bringing all that stuff for Chloe's dollhouse and helping her with her project. Yeah. <laughs> Is she married? Uh, no. <laughs> By the way, I love the new house. <laughs> you know, it means a lot to me. How much you've been here for Chloe? Oh, well, I promise to take care of both of you. <laughs> and really, I'm on my own, so it's good for me, too. What was that thing you wanted to talk to me about? You said you had something for me or a surprise? Oh, uh, yeah, um, but I, I misplaced it during the move, so, um, unfortunately, you're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, I better get back upstairs. I promised Chloe a crazy 8-3 match. Do you want to join us? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be up in a minute. All right. So this is your new friend, huh? Yeah. Mm. And we're going to do the next challenge together, too. Oh, you told him about the time capsule? I did. I mean, he was sharing, so I thought I should share something. That's what you want, right? For me to get to know him? Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Um, I'll see you later. Wish me luck. How about have fun? Well, we'll see you about that. <laughs> see ya. Bye. No. 96 elephants. What? No. That's how much this bridge can hold. 96 elephants. 96 elephants, huh? Then Chloe must really love it. Bye bye. Oh, oh wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Come on. Look at this. It's pretty incredible, right? Taylor? I'm sorry, my brain is short-circuiting from all the alarm bells going off. No, 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 no alarm bells, okay? Uh, uh, look, this bridge was built in the 1800s, and it's probably had hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people cross it before you. That is a lot of wear and tear. Have we got any clue when it was last, you know, checked, when maintenance was last done on this? I think we should go get a report on that, figure it out, come back, or maybe we just don't come back. Uh, we just don't come back at all. No, 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 look. You're gonna do great, okay? And this is gonna be amazing. Look, uh, we'll just take it like one foot in front of the other, okay? Just need to focus. And just like I tell my athletic students, not to listen to the fear of voice inside of their head and, and worry about what could happen. Why, what could happen? No, 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 no that's the point. Uh, not to listen to the voice, right? Just keep your eye on the ball, or in this case, the bridge. You ready? Not even close. Great. Okay. I'm on a bridge. I'm on a bridge. I'm on a bridge. I'm just gonna walk I'm on a bridge. There's, it's actually, it's not a bridge. It's just um, solid ground, solid ground. All, all underneath, yep. Okay, I got this. Just don't look down. It's good. It's really good. This is not bad. It's not so bad. This isn't so bad. Oh, 
I know it's bad. It's bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. Taylor, how are you doing back there? I'm great. Hold on. The bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. No, no falling. I'm so sorry. I don't. I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can. I got it. I am. Um, I can't do it. Can't do it. I'm just gonna stay right here. No, no, no. It's okay. You can do it. I'm done. I. We did it. We did it. Can I go home now? No, you can do this. Come on, you can do it. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll do it together. No, that would be cheating, right? Um, you know what? I'm fine with cheating. I'm just gonna hold your um, pinky finger, finger, finger. Okay, finger, okay. Finger. Whoa, that is a strong grip. Sorry, I'm just thinking about the fact that there's nothing underneath us, and what would happen if it would all fall down and falling down, and and there would be nothing to catch. No, 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 no. We're not singing that again. But look, how about I spot you, okay? And I promise you, you're not gonna fall. <laughs> Think about it like this. Remember what I said? One foot in front of the other. One foot. Next foot. One foot. One foot. Next. Next foot. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. Okay. Yeah, I am. I'm doing it. <laughs> you know, sometimes fear takes over, and then it limits you to be able to see beautiful things like this. All right, you're doing it. You're like a pro. Yeah, and I am, right? Yeah. Oh, we need proof. Yeah, I should take. I should take a photo. Okay. Okay. Be careful. Okay. Just. <laughs> okay. Why don't you hold on to here? Great. Great. Just gonna take it. Great. Okay. You're doing great. Okay, thanks. Doing great. Okay. You're gonna hold my hand? Yep. All right. Okay. Just, it's like nothing, right? Like nothing. It's on a bridge. You're on a bridge? Really high up. Why? Look down? I don't want to look down. <laughs> I don't. Too far? Too far, too soon. Okay. Milady. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. Yeah, it's the good kind of exhausted, you know? The exhaustion you get after a day with no worries and just fun. Maybe we should do it again sometime. We could bring Chloe. Unless you think she'd be too scared. It would probably freak her out. But if we show her that we can do it... Now you're thinking like a parent, being the brave one when the kids are scared. I don't know if you call myself brave, but... Hey, you let me spot you. I know, I was clearly delirious with fear. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> Well, I should uh, go get dinner ready before Chloe gets dropped off. But uh, if you need help with any more of those challenges, you know where to find me. Sure. Oh, in, in fact, um, we should probably exchange numbers. You know, for uh, emergency purposes. Yeah, no, totally. That's, um, that's what neighbors do, right? Mm -hmm. Here. There you go. Thank you. I'll text you mine. OK. Thank you again. Right. Night. Good morning. This is your daily affirmation guide. <sighs> Life is about moving on, accepting change, and looking forward to what makes you stronger and more complete. The secret of change is to focus all your energy, not fighting the old, but building on the new. going to take our final deep breath in and release. Play hooky for a day and do nothing or anything. So the custom bulletins you ordered for the Swatches are scheduled to be delivered today. And I just got a message from the Vernons. They want to go ahead with the estimate you gave them. Should I book a follow-up? I need to take a day off. Wait, what? You do? I do. Is everything OK? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. I just need to take a day to do something. OK, well, that's great. And don't worry, I could totally pick up the slack. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take this for today, and you go do whatever it is that you're going to do, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. It's going to be okay, right? It's going to be fine. Okay. Don't worry. This is exactly what you hired me for, okay? Not to pick up phones, but to help with the jobs. I promise you, I will not let you down. 
Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I know. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh... There we go. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'll fight. Go enjoy doing nothing. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely nothing. No. Pro D day at the school, so I thought I'd tackle a job that I can't handle. <laughs> what about you? You playing hooky? I it's um, no, I'm it's my next challenge. I have to take a day off to do whatever I want. Oh, so you're saying you ignored your daytimer? I I, I did. I, I I did. Well, I gave it to my assistant, and I just called him. Everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. Well, that's great. So, what are you gonna do? I am going to learn how to make sushi. Figured I'd huh. shake up my lunch menu. Really? No. Well, if you need someone to taste test them, I'm your man. Or, if you're not busy, you could help. I'm in. Uh, but I gotta warn you, I can't cook. <laughs> and I'm an even bigger mess in the kitchen than anywhere else. Oh. Think you can handle it? I'll try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tupperware in there is a work of art. Can't stop staring at it. Okay, well... <laughs> Ogling it is gonna get the wrong impression. Sorry. Okay. Spicy tuna rolls. Do you think maybe we should tackle something a little bit easier? Say, I don't know, like a grilled cheese? Here you go. All right, sushi it is. Yes, put the mat down. Oh, I should have washed my hands. Then you take a piece of seaweed okay. and you lay that on your mat. Jesus, this is like tacky paper. <laughs> you got your hands wet, that's why, here. I got it. Here, just give it a little <laughs> try. <clears throat> okay, uh, the, uh, what are we, we have to make rice. Rice, we have to oh, make rice. That I can do. Great. I told you. <laughs> Both. Oh, wait. You should be in there, you know, as proof that you took a day to do whatever you wanted. All right. Well, then you should be in there, too. Well, all right, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, say, spicy tuna. <laughs> spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. <laughs> well, this is the most fun and success that I've ever had in the kitchen, except for the rice. Yeah. Um, but I should get going, because to be honest with you, I'm the one who's playing hooky. Oh, I thought you had a PD day. I do, but I promised myself that I would finish unpacking all the boxes, which of course is why I was changing the light bulb. <laughs> but I've lost something over there in that mess that I have to go find, so um, thank you. Uh, this, was, this was great. Cool, well, you, I could help you. I mean, it's what I do, and I feel like if we did it together, it would be so much more efficient. <laughs> 
Well, this is your day to do whatever you wanted. I mean, I couldn't ask you to come over there and help me work. It's not work. I, I mean, I love what I do, so it wouldn't be work. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna talk you out of it. Great! Um, we'll grab a few boxes and some containers, my label maker, and we'll get to it! Yes! I don't know how all this Christmas stuff got labeled kitchen stuff. Well, <laughs> maybe the Christmas mugs for you. I'm gonna go with that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, how does Sarah fit into yours and Chloe's life? Uh, well, um, Sarah was Claire's best friend in college, so she's been a part of our lives since well, I can remember when. Now she's just so great with Chloe, you know? I kind of needed that. You know, knowing that Chloe has uh, a mother-like figure. Hmm. That makes sense. Wow. Is that it? Are we done? Uh, no more boxes to unpack or... Uh... To label? We are done. Wow. I'm feeling a little emotional here. That's why it's very important to stay organized. Sure. Or sometimes you can just fly by the seat of your pants and see what the day brings. <laughs> Another oh. box? How did we miss this? Oh. Wow, I've been... I've been looking for this. Is that your wife's, or...? No, it's, um... Hello? Hi, Taylor! Hi! Oh, hi! <laughs> hey, what am I, chop liver? Hi. Nah. Josh, did you put everything away? I did, yeah, uh, with the help of an expert. Yeah, it's what I do. <laughs> it's my company space to live. Whoa. <laughs> Impressive, right? I can find the cookies and the chips. Okay, but <laughs> don't forget, it's almost dinner. Which I picked up on the way. Oh. And on that note, I have a ton of sushi to eat. Uh, which I help make. Really? Yeah, we have photo proof. Yep. Taylor, I picked my topic. I'm still writing what I want to say, but when I'm ready, can I practice on you? Of course, yeah. Great, I'm going to work on it now. OK. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Oh, hey! Don't forget to take the day to do whatever you want. Oh. <laughs> Chloe doesn't seem shy around your new neighbor. No, Taylor and her, uh, they clicked right away. And it's great, because she's just across the street. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> to sign off on the hidden buffet and the floating shells. And since you weren't here, I put together some drawings for the Jared's module. This is great. I told you you didn't just hire me for my charm. <laughs> so how was your day off? Amazing. Josh and I made sushi, and then we unpacked the rest of his house, and I helped him get organized. Sounds like a day full of Josh. Yeah. Well, he had a PD day from school, so. Oh, so you guys had like a little play date? Nope. It's not like that. Isn't it? It's not. No, I, um, I found a ring in one of the boxes. An engagement ring. For? Guessing it's for this woman, Sarah. Oh, so she's his girlfriend. I, I don't know. So how do you know if the ring is for her? Well, because he said that she's, a, like, a mother figure to Chloe and that that's something that he really wants, and he hid the ring when she came home, so. So in all this sharing, he never mentioned he was in love with her? No, but he's gotta be, right? <sighs> Taylor, look. Growing up, I was a huge troublemaker. Like, I drove my mom crazy. 
But no matter what I did, she always had my back. And she told me it's because the love for her child supersedes everything. So maybe he's just doing it for Chloe. You know, it gives him some sort of comfort. But being comfortable is not being in love. So try asking him out. Get him outside of his comfort zone. And it'll get you outside of the friend zone. I can't do that. Of course you can. Really? I can? Can you? Is that how, how you do it with all your texting and emoji? Okay, that, <laughs> that's different. How's that different? You won't even get out from your phone zone. You won't even go on a date. Touche. Touche. <laughs> Okay, we're ready for the presentation. And I promise this time, no monkey business. <laughs> Sit on your hands. Okay. My presentation is about my dad. My dad is the greatest because he does everything. He's a teacher and a coach. He works at the college, but he's also like a teacher at home. He teaches me how to look after myself and to be a good person. And he teaches me how not to be afraid. My dad also always smiles. And it makes me feel better. Because that's what my dad does. He thinks about what makes me happy. And that's why I want him to be happy too. Because I love him the most. That's why I chose him for my presentation. That was amazing. Yeah, A plus, A plus. <laughs> Go give me a hug. Oh, oh, I love you so much. It really was. <sighs> and I know that obviously you're gonna do great, but if you need a little help, I got you this. What is that? It's a worry angel. I have one too. <laughs> you basically, you know, you ever get anxious or nervous or any of those things, then you just rub it and the angel takes your worries away. Thank you, Taylor. I'm gonna go see him in the mirror. Okay. Um. What? <laughs> that was amazing. She is so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you for that. That, that was very thoughtful oh, of you. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, It'd be great if she could get over all of her fears at once, but it's nice to know it's there if you need it, you know? <laughs> um, so, uh, what's next on the time capsule challenge? Well, uh, you know what? I haven't, uh, I haven't actually opened it yet, but I have it with me. Do you want to open it? Okay. Let's see. What's it say? It says, join a team. That's not too hard. Oh. Uh, I'm not exactly a team player, so. Well, being on a team can be fun, right, Chloe? Yeah, especially if my dad's coaching. So just do that. You know, join a league. There's always something going on in the city, you know, baseball or ultimate frisbee. Okay, well, I'm not exactly sporty, so that's. Oh come on! I saw you throw that ball at the gym. You're a natural. I wouldn't say that. Well. Let's find out. Holy and I can show you. Come on, girls. Let's go. Go fast, lady. Come on. Do pass. Nice pass. There you go. Go for something. Look for who's open. Get it out. Perfect. Throw it up. Oh, it's okay. Grab the rebound. Good point. Come on, girls. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Hi. Hey. So? Hey. What do you think? This is Little League. Yeah. I'm a coach of all ages. That's right, girls. Keep going. Come on. Good job. Um, I, I don't really get what I'm doing here. Well, in this league, there's no winners or losers. You know, the kids are here just to have fun. Good job, girls. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Um, not a kid, though. Yeah, but we're all still kids at heart, right? But that's beside the point. Today, you're gonna feel like a kid again and be an honorary member of this team. Good job, good job, keep going. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, uh, I don't know the 
That's... Come on, here. Put your jersey on. Get out there and start practicing with the team. Come on. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Come on. I don't know. I don't... These kids, they don't want to play with me. That's weird. They do. Come on, Taylor. See? Does that ease your stress? Now, come on. Put the jersey on. Hustle, 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 hustle. hustle. Good job, Chloe. Good Taylor. 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 There you go. Come on, girls. It's okay. Shoot it up. Put it up. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh, God. Look for Chloe. Get Chloe open. There. Go to Taylor. Come on, Taylor, shoot. One, two, three, swish! All right, thanks again, guys. We'll see you next week. And get Brenda to practice that dribble. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I played on a team. Yeah. I dribbled, I passed a ball to a, another human being. I scored a basket. You're rocking it like a team player. I know, I really was. <gasps> and it was fun. Yeah. Playing on a team can be fun. Mm. You know, it can give you a sense of belonging, and help boost your self-esteem. Overall, it's just a great feeling. I feel that. Hmm. So, uh, what are you up to for the rest of your day? I'm actually gonna go see my dad, show up some of those completed challenges. Do you and Chloe want to come? Seeing as you're maybe a little responsible for my success? <laughs> a little? I mean, barely worth a mention. Really? Okay, well, maybe I should come just to make sure that I get my credit. Great. I think you should. Mm. You know, you did score. Yeah, I did. Hi, Dad. <laughs> hey, guys. These are my new friends I told you about. This is Chloe and Josh. Real pleased to meet you. You as well. We've, uh, we've heard lots about you, haven't we? Do you like to paint? That's great, because I have a lot of paints and paper we need to get rid of. Come and help me make some art. Wow. All these are your dads? Yeah. Elephants. He can be as scattered as he wants to be. These are incredible. Hmm. I'm gonna guess that that's your mom? Yeah. Wouldn't see the resemblance. She was beautiful. And you was a kid? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's me on one of my long, lonely forest walks. Did you spend a lot of time by yourself as a kid? I did, yeah, and with my parents. For the elephant's nails, I'll bet, yes? I was quite attached. It didn't feel strange at the time, but um, I don't know. Now I feel like I maybe I missed out a little on other things. Taylor. Yeah? Can you come paint a picture with us? Of course. What are we painting? Elephants. <laughs> of course. Elephants, yes. <laughs> no. Show me. No, it's not ready yet. Oh. Man, some things take time. Mm -hmm. There you go, got some snacks. Thanks, Dad. You know, your daughter shows some real talent. Take a look at that elephant. Look at the wrinkles in the skin and the different shades of gray. It, it's awesome. <laughs> well, she does come by it, honestly. I mean, look at this masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think it's gonna be huge. <laughs> you know what? I think it's already been done, so maybe don't cash in your chips just yet. Are you sure? <laughs> you know what? I can't help noticing that the three of you feel like you've known each other for a long time. Yeah, it's come by pretty honestly. And Taylor and Chloe clicked right away, so... Kindred spirits. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. Me and Dad have been helping Taylor with her time capsules. Oh. Speaking of time capsule, do you want to open the fifth challenge? Challenge number five. Uh -oh. Oh. There it is. Be spontaneous. Whoa, that one's not easy. Um, have any of them been easy? <laughs> so, what are you gonna do, Taylor? Um, I don't know. 
No, it's kind of the point, right? Oh, I know. What if I go grocery shopping without a list? Come on, guys, think of all the things that I could get or not get. Yeah, yeah, that sounds wild. Mm. Whatever makes you feel spontaneous, kid. Whew. I'm gonna do this. You know, <clears throat> before you were born, your mother and I used to get out a map, put it on the table, the entire state before us. She would close her eyes, and she would move her finger around, and when she put it down, that is where we drove, without any plans other than the coordinates on the map. We ended up at some pretty interesting places, let me tell you. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Challenge accepted. to make with this. You want me to be spontaneous? I'll be spontaneous. What's his name? Periwinkle. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well you have fun with Jenny and call me tomorrow and let me know what time to pick you up. Hey, I love you. Okay, bye. Chloe on a play day? Uh, sleepover, actually. It's the uh, first one in a while, so. Uh, how was your shopping trip? Oh, counterproductive. Turns out you actually do need a list to get what you need. <laughs> but I did another challenge. I did uh, that thing with the map that my mom and dad used to do. And? And I landed here. Here? Looks like nowhere. Actually. I know, right? But that's perfect. Yeah. So I am off on the road to nowhere. Okay. Yeah. Unless, I mean, do you want to come? Unless you have stuff to do. I totally get it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. Actually, I, I would love to. I haven't been on a road trip in forever. So, yeah. Great. Let's do it. Let's do it. My car. Right. Cleaner. Right? I guess. I mean. Okay, I got one. What did the waiter say to the llama after he finished his food at the restaurant? I don't know. I'll pack that up for you. Oh, good one. <laughs> How much further? That says about 30 miles until our final destination. Oh, uh, pull over here. There's a farmer's market up ahead. But you just said 30 more miles. Yeah, but half the fun of a road trip is discovering new places. Okay. I'm not going whitewater rafting, though. Baby steps. Yeah. <laughs> I After wish. You. Thank you. Wow. Now, this beats any grocery store any day, with or without a list. <laughs> oh, I mean, they got fresh produce. Oh, locally sourced organic juices. That Sound is. good. Goat yoga. What do you think this is? I don't know, but I think we should try it. I don't know. Should we? Yeah, come on. Be spontaneous. Uh. Hmm? <sighs> I had a girl. <laughs> A guided yoga session. So everyone's gonna find a comfortable seat, make your way onto all fours, and we're gonna push up into downward facing dog. Explore your body, keep your eyes open or closed, and you're gonna take your gaze forward into a plank, push down, and bend back up. And press back, child's pose. How do I 
I'll give you a picture of us. Don't move. <laughs> then we're gonna go through the cycle one more time and drop your shoulders away from your ears. And we're gonna repeat. So press back. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, no, you're welcome. Come again, please. Hey. Bye, buddy. Well, shall we continue on our adventure? We shall. 30 miles to nowhere. 30 miles to nowhere. out here. Oh, come on. Uh, there's a sky and a few birds. <laughs> okay. And uh, a few trees. And now you and me. Thank you. For what? All of this? I really haven't felt this alive ever than I have over the last few weeks. And to be honest, I don't think that I would have done it on my own, so... I guess I was just lucky that my first challenge was to meet somebody new and that that was you. Well, maybe that was your mom's real gift. Those feelings. And those feelings of being alive. Yeah. You have hate. Oh. Oh, that's probably why that goat was nibbling at me. <laughs> or that I sprinkled a little bit of seed around you. What you did? <laughs> oh, um, sorry. Oh, Chloe's texting me. She wants me to come pick her up. Oh, she's not ready for a sleepover? Guess not. Well, at least she tried. Well. She'll get there someday. Hey, if, if, if I can, she will. Yeah. All right, Mom. Last one. Tell someone you love them? And there we go. Home sweet home. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? I'm sorry that I was too scared to sleep over and you had to pick me up. Oh, come on. Don't ever feel bad about that. You know, we all get scared, right? And remember, even when you're all grown up, if you call me and you want me to come bring you home, I will. Okay. I'm happy we moved here. And I'm happy you met Taylor and that you're happy too. I'm happy we moved here too. Okay. Do you want me to turn the light out? No, I think I'm gonna read for a bit. Okay. Good night. Bye. Love you. Love you. Winter sports set up here with the helmets and the skis. We just need a place for the summer sports. Taylor? Hmm. Yeah, that looks great. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, and I really like your ideas. Thanks. Hmm. In fact, I love you. Well, I love you too. No, no. Taylor, 
I think you are a beautiful woman and an amazing boss, but the love thing with Mia, I don't think it'll work out. I, I, I get very nervous with this thing. Like, I'm sweating right now profusely. <laughs> Is it hot in here? And especially when we work together, it's not gonna work. No, no, I don't love you like that love you. I just, it, it's this challenge my mom has me doing, it's crazy. Sorry, challenge? Yes, my mom has me doing these challenges and by the last one, my birthday present is supposed to reveal itself and this last one is that I'm supposed to tell somebody I love them, so. So you copped out. I did, I did, yes. But I do really like you. It's okay. I, I get it, trust me, I have a lot on my plate. Okay, I got Christy, Veronica, and that Jade, she's been sending me some wild emojis I do not know what to do I... with. Are you worried because you haven't fallen in love or because you have? Oh my gosh, you have. It's with that neighbor, right? Um, Pleasantville. <sighs> That looks said it all. This just took a fun spin on a day. Oh, okay. it's not fun. It's terrifying. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Am I just like go over there and be like, "What's up? I like in love with you." No, it's. I mean, he's gonna think I'm a crazy woman. That's true. I thought you were crazy two minutes ago. Exactly, because it's scary. It's way scarier than just going on dates, which you won't even do. And you know what? I completed most of those challenges, so I'm gonna say that five out of six ain't bad. Okay, how about this? I'll go on a date if you tell Josh how you feel. That hardly seems fair. Even if it's with Jade and those crazy emojis? No. Fine, I'll stop texting and I'll just go on dates. Like I'll see people face to face in the real world. Cause you're right, I tend to hide behind my phone and just not like seeing people face to face. I get nervous and sweat. You saw what just happened to me right there. So what do you say? We take this plunge together? Knock, knock. Hey, I don't know you're popping by. I was actually on my way home from work, but I thought I would stop by with these. Oh. I haven't gotten you an official housewarming gift, so here you are. You trust me to take care of some plants? Oh, don't be silly. I'll make sure Chloe gets some watered. Is she home? Yeah, she just got home from school. Great. I'll get her to help me find a sunny spot for these ones. Right. I should uh, get some water in these then, right? Probably. Okay. Oh, jeez. I love you. No. Uh... <clears throat> I love you. Ha <clears throat> I'm ready. I got this. I can't. I got this. I've got this. I could do them all. I could do them all. I, could... I love you. I'm just gonna do it. Chloe, I found a spot for the last one. Josh. Was, was this a surprise? Um, hold on, let me just get that. Uh, Taylor, uh, what is it? It's my last challenge, and it's a crazy one. Um, I have to tell somebody that I, um, Okay, I have to tell somebody that... Um, oh, uh, maybe... I have to tell somebody um, that I... Maybe it's... Taylor, are you okay? Um, um whew. Uh, No, I think I... I need a paper bag. Okay, um, I'll get you one. Just take a seat. Why don't you sit down? Uh, paper bag, paper bag, paper bag. Woo! Paper bag, paper bag. Paper bag, paper bag. Ah, uh, paper bag. I'm coming, sorry. Here, here. Nice and slow. Is that better? Yeah, much, thank you. 
What happened? Um, I don't know. I, um, I, I think I saw a spider. Wait, wait, so this is not your challenge? What? The ch no, no, no. But no, that's easy peasy. Uh, I, I thought you said it was crazy. Yeah, crazy easy. I just have to tell somebody that, um... Something nice. Yeah, so I just, I came over here to tell you guys that you're such great, great neighbors. So thank you. That's it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> recycle this. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave you guys to do whatever it was you were, you were doing. Are you sure you're okay? 100%. Sarah, I just forgot with everything going on. Uh, it's okay. Clearly, you have things on your mind. I just honestly thought that you've been so great with Chloe, and Claire wanted her to have a mother figure. So I thought that maybe someday we could be a family. But now I. I understand. And you deserve to have someone in your life again, but not just for Chloe. You've never been afraid to just jump right in, like this. <laughs> it's what Claire loved about you. I think it's what Taylor might love about you, too. You've been a really amazing friend. And that's what I'll stay. You'll always make the right decision for Chloe. And at the end of the day, I love you and I want you to be happy. It seems like Taylor might be the one to do that for you. I tried, Ed. I really, really tried, but I can't do it, okay? He's... he's proposing to somebody else. I know it's, uh... It's a risk. But... if your mom did it, then... you can too. What do you mean, mom did it? gifted her with a time capsule, just like the one you got, with the same six challenges. And yes, she was afraid of spiders, too. <laughs> and these challenges led her to me, and a life that neither she or I could ever have dreamed possible. Because before I met her, I, I, I was on a different path, one that I thought was right. And until she said, I love you. I didn't realize I was capable of being loved. Oh, Dad. Honey, I know that telling someone I love you is one of the hardest things anyone can do. Because it leaves us open, our hearts. But if we don't, we may miss out on the very best part of life.
deal? Just, it's just words. Just speak the words. Hi. Taylor. Uh, what are you doing here? Um, I just need to tell you something. Um, it's actually what I was going to tell you the other day, and then I saw Sarah with the ring, and it just... Taylor, wait up. Josh, I... I just need to get through this, so please just let me, okay? It's my last challenge, and if I don't get through it, then I'm just... I just have to get through it, okay? Here. That's it. I obviously haven't been able to get through any of the others without you, so why would this be any different? <clears throat> so here goes. Um, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. You were my first challenge, and now you're my last, and I don't expect anything in return. I just needed to say that. So I did. Were they here the whole time? Taylor, I was trying to tell you we're about to start practice. Taylor, wait. Uh, I can't. Taylor, I'm in love with you too. What? I, I love you. Which is crazy because I was on this path and then and then you came along and, and then now I'm on this other path and I... Like white water rafting? Yeah. Like a slam dunk with one second left on the board. But then what about the ring and the surprise and you were the surprise. <laughs> um, so where do we go from here? Today is a new day. Any worries I may have shall pass, as they did yesterday and the day before that, and every day. Hi, guys. Hey, you ready? Yep. I made us some ham and brie sandwiches, some salami, and I tried a new egg salad recipe. Oh, we love egg salad. <laughs> so, shall we do this? Do you want to close your eyes? Where are we going? Looks like the middle of nowhere. That's perfect. <laughs> Navigate. Oh, <laughs> you're the boss now. <laughs> if I begin to lose focus, I'll acknowledge what's worrying me. If I can resolve it, I will. And if I can't, I'll let it go. Roll up my worries and anxieties into a tiny ball and just throw them away.